10. Weird undersea discoveries. Number 10. Giant tube worms. They look and sound like something from out of a horror movie, but these creatures are very real and often live several miles deep on the Pacific Ocean floor. They can tolerate extremely high levels of hydrogen sulfide emitted by hydrothermal sea vents or black smokers. Reaching lengths of over 7 feet, they have the fastest growth rate of any marine invertebrate. Number 9. The Mayan Underworld. In 2012, archaeologists began a massive expedition that explored the sunken caves of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. During the Stone Age, the Mayans considered this area to be the gateway to the underworld. They lived in this region from around 3000 BC to 900 AD. At that time, the caves were dry and were used as burial sites, and that explains the hundreds of human remains found along the floors of the undersea labyrinths. Human remains over 10,000 years old in addition to artifacts and bones from extinct animals have been found at the location, the researchers dove to depths of 300 feet to navigate circuitous tunnels that meandered for hundreds of miles. They were accompanied by a film crew that recorded the events for a movie called The Cages of the Dead. Did you ever catch that flick? Number 8 underwater whirlpools. The nearest comparison to this deep sea phenomenon might be an underwater tornado. These whirlpools exist above some deep sea vents, and under certain conditions they can break off and swirl about like flying saucers, flinging heat, organisms, and chemicals across the ocean. Imagine the wind blowing the spores off of a dandelion, and you get the general idea. Number 7. What is it? A deep sea discovery from earlier in 2016 had experts, along with the internet, baffled. During a Nautilus exploration, a mysterious purple orb was collected off the seabed. It was found near the Channel Islands of California. And as for what the object might actually be, well, that seems to be anyone's guess. Some experts think it could be some new species of nudibranch. And those are marine mollusks with soft bodies and noted for their unusual and vivid colors and forms. But most researchers seem to to be stumped as what the object truly is. It's expected to possibly take years to determine whether or not it is in fact a new species. Number 6. Googly-eyed squid. This creature looks like it could have been photoshopped, but it's real. It was spotted on the seabed some 900 meters below the surface. It's actually identified as a stubby squid, and they're found in between Japan and Southern California in the Northern Pacific. Experts say this species stays on the sea floor by using a sticky mucus jacket, then camouflaging themselves by burrowing into the sediment that leaves those big eyes poking out to scan for small fish or shrimp. Now, interesting to note that this googly-eyed creature was spotted by the same Nautilus drone sub that spied that mysterious purple orb we told you about previously. Now, do you think it's strange that they're both purple? Could they have been big fans of Prince, maybe? Number 5 the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Now this picture is actually a 3D interpretation of the anomaly created by artist Hawk Vogt, based on reports that describe the formation as being set on a pillar and includes a structure resembling a staircase that leads to a dark hole. Further details gathered from sonar images stated the formation was around 60 meters in diameter and stands on a 8 meter pillar and is located at a depth of 295 feet. You can see some of those images from Snopes.com you notice from above, the structure even kind of resembles the Millennium Falcon. There were also claims that the diving team's electronics, like cameras and satellite phones, wouldn't work when they were above the object. Our research indicates that while some experts think the object could be a glacial deposit, the mystery of the Baltic Sea anomaly has yet to be solved. Number 4 underwater black holes. Black holes are known to be tears in the fabric of space and time. The gravity is so powerful that nothing can escape, not even light. And now scientists believe they've discovered a type of black hole right here on Earth, in the southern Atlantic Ocean. According to experts, the largest ocean eddies, or circular motions of water found in this area, do the same thing with water that black holes in outer space do with light. By applying mathematical models to satellite imagery of the eddies, scientists discovered that the eddies were equivalent to black holes, 
On a mathematical basis, anyway, fluid particles move around in small loops within the closed barriers of select ocean eddies, and nothing can escape from the inside of those loops. Not even water. Researchers think the information may help solve certain oceanic mysteries, such as the spread of environmental pollution patterns. Number 3. Casper the Ghost Fish Many people have noted how certain creatures from the deep sea have looks that could be termed unusual, if not alien. So consider this creature. It was discovered some 8,200 feet under the surface in the Mariana Trench, the world's deepest trench. Pictures and video of the creature were taken during an expedition conducted by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The pale fish with yellow eyes measured around 10 centimeters long. Its coloration inspired the name Casper, although some felt the creature more resembled Falca, the dragon from The NeverEnding Story. Experts say it's the first time a fish from the Aphionidae family has ever been seen alive. Number 2 Supergiant crustaceans. The Kermadec Trench, off the northeast coast of New Zealand, is one of the world's deepest oceanic trenches, over 10,000 meters deep. Scientists exploring the region were shocked to discover seven massive amphipods gathered in a trap they had set. You can see just how massive these creatures are in these pictures from Ocean Lab. Look at how big they are in relation to the size of the researchers' hands. The supergiant amphipods are over 20 times the size of their normal crustacean relatives relatives, which usually measure less than a half inch long and are found in oceans around the world. The largest of these seven specimens measured around 11 inches long and were found some four miles deep in the trench. Amphipods this size have not been seen since the 1980s. Did the sight of them make you think at first of giant shrimp? Number one. So, take a look at this creature. Does it remind you of anyone? Say, a certain Sith Lord from a galaxy far, far away? Well, it's really a fairly newly discovered species of small jellyfish, and you don't have to travel to another galaxy to find it. It was discovered in the deep waters of the Arctic Ocean, and while its name is officially Bethicarus Builoni, the creature's resemblance to Darth Vader's helmet actually earned it that nickname of Darth Vader Jellyfish. And while it's not the most colorful creature on a list, it is certainly named after a colorful character, even if Luke Skywalker's dad wore all black. <laughs> 